Hey everyone, today we're heading out to Blue Mountain for a very unique and local culinary experience. It's the Apple Pie Trail. It's too comfortable, I don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> Go back to sleep. That's right, we're back at one of my favorite resort hotels, the Westin Trillium House, where you'll also find the Oliver and Bonaccini Cafe Grill, our first stop on the Apple Pie Trail. And just so you know, I'm on a mission to eat as many apples as I can on this trip. This is what breakfast with these two is like. Oh, nah. Oh, now they got rid of their phone. <laughs> now it's time to head out to the very place where the apple story begins, the t &K Ferry Orchard and Apple Market, or as I like to call it. So we made it to the Apple Store. Got a lot of different models, like this one. Although we've arrived just outside of apple season, luckily for us, many of the spots on the apple pie trail operate year round. Karen, our host, was nice enough to give us a taste test of some of the apples grown on this orchard. Organic, gigantic, and delicious. <laughs> Juicy. Just like spitting saliva everywhere. <laughs> oh, well, just try that after this one. Oh All no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's also a different texture. It is. It's a lot. There's a lot more water in it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It looks like my touch. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, entering the apple vault. <laughs> there they are. Thank you so much, Karen. Guys, guys. If an apple a day keeps the doctor away, I'm not gonna have to go to the doctor for the whole week. We learned a lot about why you should support your local farmers, and after a quick photo shoot, it's time to hit the road again. Next stop, Ravenna Country Market, which has a very long history. You and me are standing out in the middle of the street. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. We're in the cutest little market. It smells amazing here. Look at, that. Look at those layers. Look at that. Meat. Stacked. Peppers, cheese, vegetables, flatbread. And now it's going in my mouth. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have <laughs> Butternut squash is my favorite type of soup, and here we are. Oh my god. It's really good, isn't it? It's so good. There's the apple pie. First timers in the Ravana Country Market receive a free butter tart. This is my dream come true. <laughs> we got a Canadian delicacy here. It's a butter tart. It's a pastry with like sugar. Uh, this one has pecans, but you can have raisins. What's that one? Mm. No, the best is when it's like soft in the middle there. After that quick and delicious lunch, it's time to visit a vineyard. So we're now at the Georgian Hills Vineyard. Check out where they make the wine. We got to see where all the magic happens. What does this thing do? I've never seen one of these. Oh my god! And then comes my favorite part, the tasting. One thing you've got to try at Georgian Hills is their sweet dessert ice wine. With guaranteed colder temperatures in the area, Blue Mountain is the perfect place to make these wines. And try them out. Let's just say this isn't your ordinary apple juice. Oh my god. That's like juice. I know. Yeah, it's adult, I call it adult apple juice. Okay. Damn. You ready for this view? Are you ready for this view? Logging. Now we're off to Thornbury to visit Goldsmith's Orchard Market, a farm market that specializes in produce grown at their own farm, and what they don't grow, they source locally. You can bet that you'll find a lot of apples here, but their feature item is a little more diverse. Signature pie. Signature Look at pie. that signature pie. The Thornbury pie has strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and apples, and it's an explosion of delicious local fruits and flavors. Now to contrast an afternoon of sweets, we're checking out the Cheese Gallery, a very chill market cafe with various local cheese, pastries, tea, coffee, and of course... Sparkling apple cider. Oh my god, so good. This is an apple tree smoked cheddar. Uh, it's smoked for six hours in applewood. Woo! Does this count as an apple? Apple smoked cheese. Apple smoked cheese, oh my god. All right, last stop, Bruce Wine Bar. Heard some really good things about the pizza. Let's check it out. 
Just a few steps away from the Cheese Gallery is Bruce Wine Bar, a two-floor wine bar that specializes in wood-fired pizza, healthy and sustainable options, and apple pie trail feature items. We've decided to get a pizza and a board featuring pate terrine, and you guessed it. Challenge myself to eat as many apples as I could today. Last one. <laughs> We had an incredible time exploring just a few of the stops on the Apple Pie Trail. It's a perfect itinerary for a weekend getaway with friends or family, and most importantly, it's a great way to support local business and get your daily intake of apples. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to Gunnarola on YouTube and check back next week for another adventure. I'll see you next time. À la prochaine!